always be DTF. Hey y'all, I'm April. And I'm Caroline. And this is your bloody happy hour. Caroline, are you ready for this? This is your newest guilty pleasure. It's the bloodiest part of your week. Did we say something about it also being happy hour? Show sure did. Because we're about to be sipping on some murder. Bloody happy hour. Hey y'all, this is April. Oh, and this is Caroline. And this is your bloody happy hour Tuesday quickie edition. Quickie, quickie. Oh, and I gotta give you guys some news. And we just so happened. Do you to have any juice? To um, orange. Oh, orange juice. Orange juice. Oh. Speaking of. Oh. We just so happened to throw it back last week. We sure Brought y'all did. some OJ. We must have known. I think we did. We are that good that we, on our week away, needed to play OJ for y'all, and now he gone. Sealed the deal. He gone, and guess what? He's going to go up there, and he's going to find out who the real murderer is. Yeah. So maybe he'll tell us. And um, I – did you know he – was in ho- okay, you know he had prostate cancer. I didn't know he had prostate cancer, no. and I didn't know he was in hospice. And I didn't know he he lied that he wasn't in hospice because I went straight to his in- his Twitter X account because mm-hmm. you know he's always out there. Hey, I, Twitter world. Yeah. Hey, I'm Twitter always, world. I was waiting for him to weigh in. Well, about now he's the like, draft hey, and- X world, hospice, hospice. Yeah, I didn't know hospice. That was that was like the last video he posted maybe like in we, February. Maybe we thought this whole time he was on the golf course, and that was actually like the. The old people's home, like the hospice, the Uh, Sinar home. Yeah. I don't know. But, you know, he's gone, and he's going to meet his maker soon, and he'll have to face the truth, whatever that truth is. Do you think Chloe's upset that her dad is gone? Well, you know, I think Chloe is in denial. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, O.J. Simpson has died, allegedly, of cancer. Um, uh, ball cancer. Ball state. Ball state cancer. Yep. And it's new kind. he died $114 million in debt still to the Ron Goldman family because Lovely. he did not get convicted of the murder, if you, don't, if you remember the story. But he did get um, convicted of a wrongful death suit. And owed them a thirty million dollars. I think he paid one hundred thirty-three thousand of that. But then over time, interest and interest and interest, and it is over a hundred million now. So, I, I don't understand the point of a civil lawsuit uh, yeah. when you know the person can't pay it. Yeah, like if Who's it's an entity. If it's an entity. Because I think typically I you see. could could you. Um, like the family to the hospital. their property or something? So maybe now, but see, OJ, he was a little schemer, so he probably, like, had stuff moved over into, yeah. like, kids' names. But he did die with his kids. He was surrounded by family. I think he'll do that kids. video, like, uh, more, was it Jerry Springer? <laughs> from the dead from the dead when he talked about his all leave his, a will uh, yeah when he maybe left like the money to his other other kids and not yes. his real kids because his real kids were shitty but then we thought he was just trolling us mm. mm-hmm. i mean i don't know if he was trolling but i you know he had to have done something yeah if he didn't give it a week so i think he out. was in denial and like he was never going to man um, I just wish. I mean, he we all know. He was 76 years old. Well, good. I hope he was in a lot of pain. I don't think he, I, th- I don't think we'd ever get answers. So uh, there's your, oh, there's your juice. There's your juice on OJ. There's your juice. So, um, Caroline, have you heard the name Caleb Harris? I have, but uh, not enough. Okay, you guys. And the reason I heard about it is because all around around the same time, these like 
kids were going missing, boys. And I kind of all, I was like, oh, is this that story again about that missing kid? That missing kid? And I just kind of thought it was all the same kid. But then, yeah, it wasn't. So Caleb Harris is a um, college student, tech, UT Corpus Christi, University of Texas Corpus Christi. Uh, and he went missing March 4th. That is before Riley Strain yes. went missing, March 8th. And it's crazy because Riley Strain blew up. Meanwhile, Caleb Harris is, I'll see it. You know, I'll see an article here and there. I'll see it on the news, but I don't see it everywhere. Like Riley Strain and even Sebastian blew up. So I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if the clickbait was because it was Tennessee and the Luke Bryan bar and it was just attached to that. But let's talk about um, Caleb Harris. He, there's a timeline. Yeah. So he's been missing for <coughs> like over a month, five weeks. Yeah, March, what is yeah. this, April. So in the early morning hours of March 4th, he, so the family knows that he went fishing that day. He lived in a, like, apartment with some roommates. Hold on, I just had the timeline. And he went fishing that weekend, had a good weekend. He was playing video games with his roommates. Um, and his roommates decided to go to bed. He got up and he walked to see his cute little um, poodle. Aww. A little poodle dog, white little poodle, mm -hmm. uh, teacup poodle. And he took his dog for a walk, I guess, before he was going to bed. And he was going to order some Uber Eats. So he sent a Snapchat about 2 a.m. to his sister of his dog. And then um, cell phone or uh, footage, video footage, sees him in the area. He sends another Snapchat of this little bridge area, but it's like it near the like apartment complex where he lives, where he'd be going on this walk. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then his phone shut down. His roommates woke up at like 11 the next day. He was not in his room and his Uber Eats was still on his porch. So his Uber Eats was delivered about three still on his porch. So that is it. Like people are saying that he vanished he ordered his Uber Eats. He never ate his Uber Eats. He never even picked it up. He went on a little walk, and he never returned. Turned his cell phone off, or his cell phone was turned off, and nobody has seen him since. Twenty. T the quote is, it's 2024, and the odds of somebody disappearing without a trace, without anybody knowing anything, are slim to none. We feel like the word hasn't got out enough to people, and we do believe somebody knows something. Now, they have ruled out friends, like roommates. Mm -hmm. They ruled out family. There is a now a $50,000 reward for anything that leads to any answers or finding him. But that's all we have. There's no camera footage of from well, besides his like his own phone, I guess that uh, from him like leaving and going and walking. Walking, yes. I thought. I wonder. You would think that there would be more, because this was like over a month ago, and look at all the stuff they did with. Maybe because he was gonna maybe maybe there was I don't know. I didn't know the history of this kid, like. But there's. Police are saying they are sharing all that they can share, but they can't share every single thing, obviously, because they need to leave some things quiet for the investigation. Um, you know, it's so... There's nothing that would cause them to believe that he was in any danger. Or ran away for any reason. Yeah, or ran away. Was it in, like, a love triangle situation? No. Mm -mm. There's been, like, no... No red flags have popped up. There's not even any, like... Web sleuth stories out there, like I know like, that's yeah, like, that's what, like, like, typ like typically you get all these people out there, Reddit, these stringers, these YouTuber, you know, which yeah. I love it all, and uh, and then they come up with what it's to where the families are like 
stop spreading all misinformation, false information, yeah. and leave it alone. And then now, but then it's like one extreme or the next. It's either for like over the top and you coming up with all these crazy theories and blah, 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 or you get nothing. Yeah. So it's like, which it's one nothing. would you rather have? Like they're both bad places to be. I'd rather have stories to roll out, I like somewhere so. to start, I guess. At um, least you'd have people He didn't have his wallet it? on him. He didn't have the keys on him. Like, he was last seen wearing teal pants and a white shirt. And we don't know where his phone is. I guess not. Um, he is from New Braunfels, but he was at Texas a and I said UT Corpus Christi. Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, so that Caleb Harris. Needs so to we're gonna there. yeah we're gonna f- we're gonna follow it and we're gonna share it because these parents deserve to know some answers too. Um, let's go to a trial. Two, there's two trials going on this week. Um, do we want to do the Apple River? Have oh, you been yes. watching that one? Okay. I just Sweepy sent me a video, the video about it earlier yeah. this week mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. so you can probably help me on this have yes. you been watching this or just kind of following it uh i watched a little bit of it there's a there's been a bunch of things this week that have pop- popped off with court and trials but i i've got bits and pieces of it enough to where okay. i have my opinion so july 2022 um the apple river is the Wisconsin, Minnesota area. Yeah. So I'm picturing it like our Guadalupe River here in Texas. People go out there. They on um, floats. You float the river. You drink. You play music. You have a good time. Um, so this was in the summer. And uh, Nikolai Miu. I just the name yes. Nikolai is a red flag to me. <laughs> um, uh, Nikolai. Is it Nikolai or Nikolai? My mom it's Nikolai, me and he's uh, it almost sounds Italian. He is Romanian. Okay, is from that Romania. Close? I don't, think, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so he is, but he came here when he was younger. He was on the river with some friends, some adult friends, and his wife, and they were having their own good time. And then there was a group of teenagers. One of them, last name Schumann. Um, all ages ranging from 17 to 24. And they had their big group, like, out there on their little floats floating Mm -hmm. down the river. Now, (coughs) from what I can gather is Nikolai approached this group because a friend in his group lost their cell phone in the river. And so he was looking, and if in the river is usually pretty shallow, like it's maybe waist deep in most of the areas um a lot of times just goes up to your knees yeah and these rivers are a lot of times pretty clear water where you can see down to the bottom cell phones are waterproof now because i was like looking for their cell phone if it's in the water it's gone but cell phones are waterproof and i know when i go floating down the river i put it in the little waterproof bag yes so he was trying to help a friend find cell phone now he approached a group of teenagers How I he approached them, I am still unsure, but it ended up in a confrontation. And the video shows the teenagers kind of badgering him, but it also shows a squabble between him and some of the teenagers, young men. In this squabble, it looked like the Nikolai was going to lose this fight because he had, was there like eight of them? And they were pushing him in the water, and but he had a knife on him, and so he pulls out this knife, and he stabs about five or six of them. Yeah. And he kills one of them, mm-hmm. Schumann. I think he's the 17-year-old. Isaac Schumann. He kills one of them. But he stabs the other one, others, some of them so bad to where their intestines like were in their hand. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but then he walks back to his group, tosses the knife, walks back to his group and continues floating down the river, says nothing about it to his group that he's with and just kind of continues on. Now he's on trial and he's facing a lot of charges. 
So I just saw the video. I'm thinking. So the question is, is he guilty? Is this self-defense? So that's what he was going for was self-defense. Yeah, self-defense. So he walks over there, but he has his snorkel in his hand, like his snorkel mask and Mm -hmm. snorkel thing because he's like looking for the phone. And for some reason, I don't know, I just have bits and pieces. He was like, they were like, oh, are you looking for little girls? Like, what are you doing? They were really bad journey. They were, but he seemed kind of like a creep. I don't, I got a creep vibe from him. They said that he was drunk. They were all drunk. Both parties were drunk and high. Probably. But, but that's what you do on the river. Right. <laughs> so he then was, I then I think he lost his footing. He had grabbed onto one of their tires that they're floating on. Is that what's called? Tire. Tubes. Tube. Where am I? It's a, a inner tu- tube yes, of a tire. Yes. Grabbed onto one of the tubes and kind of fell over. But then they were like, dude, leave. Get out. Get mm-hmm. like, they kept telling him to go away and he wouldn't go away. And then, so when he falls, he gets back up. And then they start pushing on. They're like, bro, like, uh, which they are. But you could have left. And I know there's different, like, s- stay in your ground laws in different states. And I can't even go into all that. But um, then you, like, see him pull out the knife. And then he just, like, stabs the one girl. And she's bleeding. And then, then you see him. You see him do the stabbing motion but you don't see the actual stab of the guy that he killed but then you see like blood all on the water yeah so i don't know how far away his group was but blah 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 they ended up he's like getting questioned by i guess they find all this whatever call the cops do all the things um but he denied having a knife at first i believe and told he basically lied. two totally different yeah. like maybe five different stories then we're on, we're trial starting there, whatever, have a, have a couple of days go by. A bunch of people in the comment section are just like, oh, my God, those kids were terrible. Oh, my God. Like, I, like totally self-defense, blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting here thinking, what am I missing? I don't know if I just got weird vibes from the guy. And why are you – I get – he said he had a knife so he could cut rope. or uh, Yeah. Yeah. And that's, you do take but that like, on the river. Like, are you that scared in that moment that you can't just walk away or, like, speak and then walk away that you have to just start stabbing? Like, yeah, I don't know. I thought that was all weird. I'm disappointed in both parties because the kids, where is your respect for, like, the adults? He was looking for something. Oh, no, it's not here. Sorry. But they immediately were rude. That would piss me off. They were rude. They're accusing him. And maybe he was a creeper, but you don't put your hands on anybody. And not one of them, not one of them stood up and said, y'all leave him alone. Let him go. Let him go. Yeah. You any- know, like nobody, none of their groups stopped it. Right. Like there should have been one decent hearted person that says, I want to leave him how alone. Long they're out there. Leave him like leave him alone. Let him go back. Like stop it. But they were all like, badgering and badgering and pushing on him. all the way over there when they're over in a whole. Like how would his phone have gotten over? Like I think you. I, I think he was drunk, and I, whether he went over there with evil intent, I don't. I don't think know. He, I don't think he did went over. But there. if they were more respectful, then there would have been no question about this. You well, know. Well, then apparently, then he gets on the. Then he testifies. He yeah. gets on the stand. And cross examination tore him apart. Uh-huh. You there's there's no chance yeah. after he's d- been crossed. And uh, everybody's like, yeah, no, he's he done. He's done. Yeah. Sure enough, they come back guilty 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 every, every count. First degree murder, this 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 But this. it's the lesser charges of everything cuz it's like reckless reckless um with the weapon, like were you rec- reckless with the weapon that caused bodily injury? Guilty. <clears throat> so it's a lesser charge of everything. He could be facing up to forty years, but he may not face that much time. But my thing is, like everybody's happy on the river. Like, why is anybody even mad? And uh, it just I know, I, know. I know, I know. I'm like, I need to go back and watch the. the I was more parts of it because I didn't understand. I didn't grasp how. I, I was disappointed. Know. Yeah. Yeah. I was disappointed because 
he was just this one old man and who cares if he was a creeper like i think i just would have expected better and now it's not the young people's but fault they do know, not deserve to be stabbed at all but there's also a lot of things that do not come into to trial into court so there could have been like a previous altercation that we weren't able to, to, to know about or, and i probably didn't see the whole video i don't know but well the video was just like a bunch of everywhere everything and it happened so fast but you'd still you're like I, there's a lot of to me there was some missing holes and I was I just didn't understand but I think that there could have been most likely stuff that they were not allowed to have in, come into yeah. trial or something to make it make sense but he was I don't know like there was uh, yeah. nobody trying to be a mediator and like I don't know I was just disappointed but um it is sad for Isaac Schumann's family all the kids that got nobody deserved because kids are assholes anyways yeah it shouldn't have ended like this i just it's nobody wins and that's what i think the um the attorney said is like nobody this nobody wins when it comes to this story so you guys watch the video tell me tell us what you think do you think that nikolai this this could have been self-defense um, I think if his name was Nikolai, he probably would have. And he looked so <laughs> different from the video to the trial. Yeah. Like he lost like a lot of weight, 80 pounds yeah. or something. And he like his hair was like he grew hair mm-hmm. and darkened it. So I don't know if he got Rogaine in jail or if he just like <laughs> got a. I don't know. But he, I was like, that's the same Bile guy. <laughs> his wife did say that. Um, oh, she was a ball of spitfire, that wife. That said that he had nightmares every night and that his life went downhill after that. I guess after he realized that you what he killed. did, that he killed a teenager, stabbed and disembowel like that's overkill. Yeah, and like I'm not taking up for him, so y'all don't well, think that I, I'm taking up for him. I, I don't was know just why you gotta stab five people. I mean, just just push them back and go away. I don't know. That's what annoys me. I get people are going to be rude and dicks and stuff, but I don't know. Watch me. I'll be, like, stabbing people next. I don't know. (laughs) I I think I just didn't like the guy, so I was like, "Mm, mm -mm." My next story, um, I've been spending a lot of time in the DFW area, in the DFW hospital. Mm-hmm. And so when you're in the DFW area, you are watching the DFW news. And there's nothing like sitting in the waiting room. Oh, no. Watching the news and seeing that a local hospital doctor, Baylor Scott and White, North Dallas, one of the doctors is on trial. And now, because it's been going on for two weeks has been found guilty for injecting dangerous drugs into IV bags. Oh, good. Of the patients. Random patients. Dr. Death. Dr. Reynaldo Ortiz. Okay. Is this the dentist guy or no? Mm -mm. No, it's a different one. No. So. Reynaldo Ortiz. He was a doctor at this hospital. And... 11 people, patients, random patients, suffered cardiac emergencies uh-huh. that had nothing to do with to what their, their in the hospital. Like, yeah. they were in there for, like, a random nosebleed or yeah. um, emergency room or, like, having a nose, but then you're having a cardiac episode fighting for, your li- for their oh life, and one person died. Um, nobody could figure out what happened the hospital administrators the doctors and it wasn't tied to one person either like it was random so usually when stuff like this they can see oh well who were the nurses who were the doctors and they'll narrow down like a common person Mm -hmm. Mm -mm. this was totally random and it been happening throughout the year okay yeah then there was a break-in at the hospital and they decided to put up cameras. Yeah. Because there was a break in. Well, they didn't tell everybody they put up these cameras. Uh-huh. So now these camera, now an episode happened. Mm-hmm. And they go to the camera and the camera um, catches this guy taking out IV bags and then putting them back in 
right before this IV bag is taken into the to mm-hmm. the hospital room and somebody has a cardiac episode. Mm-hmm. So what they had found out is that Dr. Ortiz ha- is in, in debt millions of dollars and that he had been in trouble a couple times um, with the hospital and was probably about to lose his privileges at the hospital uh-huh. because of random accidents, okay, that were tied to him. So his motive was he wanted other doctors to have random accidents and patients die or go through cardiac unexplainable episodes because then that would explain why he's such a shitty doctor. <laughs> so they won't fire him if four other doctors yeah, go through the same the, thing. Yeah, because well, hospitals rarely want to fire their doctors because they do not want that to, bad publicity. No. So he was putting dangerous, like, um, poisons inside these drugs, inside the IV bags. I remember the bags. I remember, I remember this. When was this? 2022. Okay. So I probably did look into it because I was going to do a, uh, doctor death kind of a case. Uh huh. And I remember seeing a video of the guy getting the bag out and then. Like, it was a hidden camera yeah. kind of a thing. And it sounded just like what you're talking about. So, so one of the... One of the anesthesiologists that works for the hospital... No, no, no. He was an anesthesiologist. One of the surgeons that worked for the hospital took an IV bag home because she wasn't feeling good. She was going to give herself an IV... Yeah. Because you're dehydrated, and that's just a perk of... Yep, yep. Right? Yeah. And her husband said that as soon as she did it, she dropped to the ground, and she was holding her chest. He didn't know what to do. He Mm -hmm. tried to do CPR, and he was like, what is it? Is it your heart? And the last things that she could say is, it's the IV bag. He couldn't save her. Ambulance came. (gasps) She died. So there is one murder in this, but the rest were cardiac episodes where, like, this teenager fought for his life for a long time. And a lot of them have ongoing, like, issues. Though there are, like, 11 and one murder, he will only, they can only connect him to four because that is the time of the camera that was up. So if somebody had not broken into the hospital, they would have never put the camera up and they would have never been able to tie him to that. And it would have probably still been happening. Mm. Craziness, craziness, craziness. But you are in a, in a, when you're in the hospital, you have no choice but to like trust your doctor. And trust yeah. the nurse. Yeah, you do. Like, you trust what they say. You trust that they're telling you the truth. You trust that they're trained to do it. I feel like I can catch on on a lot of things, but m- medical type stuff, especially dealing with the heart, it's hard to follow. Then you have these that just totally mess it up and they do shit like this to save their own ass, to save his own ass because he couldn't leave his, lose his job because he was in debt. Awful. That's yeah. You're, it's and he's so ugly. So if he would have walked in, so the look what he looks like. Oh, I don't even want to. If he would have walked in, he, I would have been like, uh, uh-uh. uh, no, sir, bring me another one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is the dude. So he's guilty of four counts. Well, I don't know what happened, but it went somewhere. Okay. Good. He needs to be. Yeah, I don't. I. I. That's that is the dude. I feel like he did. Hey, like that. It, this was all now. I don't know if he's worked for other hospitals, but during this whole time, they would have investigated all that. They would have went to every hospital he would have worked at. You think? But like that's the whole Doctor Death thing. Is he would he kept switching hospitals and stuff like that, and they wouldn't want to do. They didn't want to. Make it a big deal. So they were like, okay, just go work over at this hospital so yeah. we don't have our name in the you know press and blah, blah, blah. And so then the, he just kept doing his 
doing his thing. Now, his defense, his defense said that the hospital sh- basically shitty and that they were looking for uh, that they probably bought had faulty IV bags and they needed somebody to blame for it. And it could have been anybody. It could have been the nurse who actually grabbed it after him. Like it could have been anybody. And so I can see how that could happen too. So if they didn't have that video and it lined up with all the attacks, he probably would have gotten away with it. Wow. What a loser. That is all that I have. You got anything? I do probably have a lot, but I okay. don't. I don't. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see y'all Thursday for a full episode. Don't forget to stay aware. Stay alive. And always be DTF. Bye, y'all. Bye. This has been a Rogue Media Network production.